Can insurance protect our coral reefs? That's what's happening in Hawaii, where threatened coral reefs just got their first insurance policy against coastal storms. Nonprofit The Nature Conservancy bought it on behalf of the state, giving its reefs up to $2 million of protection until the end of December 2023. This is how the plan would work. Coral reefs along developed coastlines can limit flooding by providing a barrier against storm surges, meaning insurers have every interest in protecting them. So, if Hawaii experiences a storm strong enough to damage the reefs, the Nature Conservancy gets a payout. The policy covers the majority of Hawaii and will begin paying out at 50 knots of wind. Teams known as the Reef Brigades will use that money to recover reef fragments, store them, and reattach them using cement or epoxy. The idea of insuring coral reefs isn't brand new. It was first tested by the Mexican state of Quintana Roo. Local tourism businesses and the government bought an insurance policy to cover their share of the Mesoamerican Reef. An environmental group, the MAR Fund, later took out a policy in other parts of Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras. The policies paid out for one storm in Mexico in 2020 and another in Belize in 2022. In July 2022, Quintana Roo paid 6 million Mexican pesos, over $300,000, to renew its policy. While admitting it was a lot of money to pay, Mexico's Secretary of Ecology and Environment said losing the biodiversity would be worse. Coral reefs around the world are at risk from climate change, overfishing, and other human activities. While insurance policies are one way to protect them, the Nature Conservancy concluded that, quote, an unprecedented, coordinated, global effort among public, private, and philanthropic sectors will be required for reefs to survive beyond the end of this century.